All right, so we got a couple issues going on here. Uh, number one, the Y-axis ball screw. You can see this um, fitting right here. That is what's left of it. That goes nowhere right now. And then that, I think, has to drop down somewhere in here or around this cavity, and it has to go and it has to... Uh, connect to a fitting like this on the y-axis um, so there is absolutely no way for me to get my hands in anywhere uh, I am going to have to pull off the front so this way I can slide this cover plate forward more to get my hands in the back or possibly in the front I don't know yet but I have to do that now um, also, I'm having a lot of trouble getting the new oil lines through the holes that were created in the saddle. Um, you know, this was done after the fact, and every time I try to get a, a line in, it's kinking over down here because, um, yeah trying to get my finger with the camera because these are too too close to this hole there's no absolutely no room for them to bend so uh, I looked at a newer bridge port and the holes are much closer to the edge of the saddle there's not you know um, there's there's definitely they're definitely too you know too in inward that way so after thinking about it for a while I didn't know if I should run the lines around I mean that would be the easiest way but I feel like I need to go ahead and elongate these holes get them closer to the edge this one I, I, I made it a little larger you can kind of see what I'm working with here it's just it's just they're just kinking over I don't know I'm just not happy with that so, and I can see that there is a screw that mounts here. So I might have to try to elongate these this way. Not really happy with that because I don't want to weaken the saddle. Um, but something needs to be done. Whoever did this just messed it all up. But that's kind of the story of my life with these machines. I should have just bought myself a Haas and have been done with it. So might be the next purchase all right guys push comes to shove uh, I was able to pull the um, ball screw out the y-axis ball screw um, I was able to unscrew it I got got it far enough so I can get this uh, item far enough forward so I was able to get a, a, a socket in there I guess that's not really great but uh, and here we go here is the here's the oiler so I'm hoping I can I ordered some uh, oil uh, proof tubing from McMaster and I am waiting for that for tomorrow so I will hopefully I can fish that in and then put this back in and um, I guess I'll have that come out the top here somewhere I'm not really sure. Let's see. Um, just trying to think where this hole is. I think this guy's back in here. I have to line this up with the screw. And then maybe I can get that line down in here. Get my hands in there or something to get that Y axis. So uh, now I'm going to attack this. I think I'm just going to get the die grinder and grind out these holes. Make them larger. Um, so I can get those oilers through the oil lines without kinking them. Okay, guys, here's some stills for you to check out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three.